Which is your favourite of all the horses? Halifax. Very pretty and very fast. Yes, he's wonderful. Gibbs, that will do. She was singing about pirates. That even a miniature one. I think it'd be rather exciting to meet a pirate. Think again, Miss Swan. We're blind as a bat. Try to read the Bible in his eyes when splat! Oh, but I... Don't be a brat, Constance. Don't be a shrew, Abigail. Sarah! A full moon rises before nightfall. A good night to enjoy the fruits of the land. I'm coming too. No, you're not. <laughs> I have a gift for you. Oh, it's beautiful. Isn't it? <laughs> May I inquire as to the occasion? Does a father need an occasion to dote upon his daughter? <laughs> what? Actually, I, um... I had hoped you might wear it for the ceremony today. The ceremony? Captain Norrington's promotion ceremony. I knew it. Commodore Norrington. He's about to become. <laughs> Fine gentleman, don't you think? He fancies you, you know. <gasps> Elizabeth, how's it coming? It's difficult to say. I'm told it's the latest fashion in London. Well, women in London must have learnt not to breathe. Thank you for all of your service. If it takes fighting a war for us to meet, it will have been worth it. I'll leave you to it. Just because she wants to form a harem. I'm just saying, if you really loved me, you would share it. Ha! Two weeks later in the living room, stressing. My father's stone-faced by you asking for his blessing. I'm dying inside as you whine and dine. And I'm trying not to cry, because there's nothing that your mind can't do. My father makes his way across the room to you. what I'm talking about <laughs> now everyone give it up for the maid of honor Angelica Skyler was always by your side something for you. <sighs> Belong to Gabriel's mother. It's beautiful. Allow me. It's the North Star. 
That's the only star in the sky that never moves. It's constant, unwavering, a guide. I'd be honored. Take a hunk of bread. And then Sally will take you to clean up. This mud stinks. They shit in the streets around here. Political commentary, they call it. Half-hearted in this, or they will see our weakness and take us, and we will lose thousands more. None for the Queen. What? Well, you cannot have hot chocolate. Your stomach, the sugar inflames it. Abigail, hand me that cup. Do not. I'm sorry, I do not know what to do. Oh, fine, give it to her. And then you can get a bucket and a mop for the aftermath. I see we're all ready to go. Marta, please try not to insult too many people tonight. On the knot. That's it. Good. Move this. <laughs> oh, what she say? Shivens. <laughs> the means of witchcraft. I took advantage of the ignorance of Claire Fraser. When I go to the cupboard and I find no coffee, no sugar, no pins, no meat, am I not living politics? This war touches people that your Congress treats with the same contempt King George reserves for the people of Boston. I mean women, yes, and slaves too, for that matter. Though I am sure you, you wish I would not mention that subject, as it might upset your southern friends. Mr. Merriman, <laughs> and Felicity. Oh, I hardly recognize you. Today is Felicity's birthday. Well, that explains it. <laughs> well, I must say, you're growing into a fine young lady. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Are you practicing your dancing? friend appears to be quite a genteel, pretty sort of girl, Mrs. Collins. Her father's estate is entailed on Mr. Collins, I understand. Yes, ma'am, and I am. Believe me, Do but... you have brothers and sisters, Miss Bennet? Yes, ma'am, I am the second of five sisters. Are any of your younger sisters out? Yes, ma'am, all of them. 